Hey guys, Nate here. I thought I would do a little review. I just got a uh, YKS X Mode Alien uh, quadcopter frame, and I thought I would just do a well, just just now opened it. A uh, little unboxing and uh, kind of talking about what's inside of this thing. And then I'll uh, what I'll do is I'll build it out, and then we'll see some flight footage as well. So let me grab a little knife to open this guy up. Let's see what we got. So, really nice uh, metal threads inside that, so that's good. You can put your red in the back or the white in the back, whichever one you want. But it comes with uh, ample space as well as, you know, I'm not sure if that's real carbon, but it looks like or feels like real carbon. Um, and then it has your power distribution board, right? So that's cool. And then our top plate looks good. Very stiff, very firm. I like these arms. They're, you can't twist or bend or squeeze these things at all. Uh, we'll have to see. Hopefully they hold up pretty nicely for the durability test. And uh, so let's start building. All right, so this thing is built now. Um, what I'm going to end up doing is taking off the top plate again, uh, just so I can expose all my my uh, power distribution board ta uh, pads, and I'll tin those up, and then I'll get ready to uh, go ahead and start soldering up my ESCs and motors. And then I've just got a place for my flight controller, and I'll wire up some FPV gear, and we'll take it out for a spin. So far, I really like the construction. Easy, fast. Uh, extra pieces of the hardware in the bag that comes with it, so that's great. Uh, I really like, this one actually has something I haven't seen before, but it's hard to tell, but there's three little pads right on the inside there, and one of them is just a direct line to the back. So I'm assuming that's where you can plug in your camera, because the camera goes right here, uh, plug in your camera's video signal, right, because there's three wires for the camera, power, ground, and video, and you can automatically send it back and you can have your video transmitter maybe back at this hole and just you don't have to worry about running long wires from one end to the other you just use this little pad that just is again it's just one and the other and you can kind of see that uh, and I'll show that a little bit later a little close up but you can see that the etch marks for this power distribution board where you can see the padding uh, is just a line directly from here to here. So that's a great idea. I have not seen that before. Really happy so far. So let's uh, finalize the build and go fly. All right, so here we are and got this guy now finished. Let's go ahead and take a little closer dive into some details on the build. So I'm running an 1800 milliamp nan uh, nanotech battery on this. I got the Mobius just for some HD. Standard uh, Sony CCD camera, zip tied in the front. I uh, used hot glue to kind of make a wedge and then zip tied it at the angle that I want for fast forward, forward flight. Running Emacs motors and ESCs. Uh, beta flight, oh no, sorry, actually, uh, just regular NAS32 with the, with the regular, uh, a regular version on there, not the base flight. Because this is just kind of a beginner quad, I don't need to the crazy experimental stuff from Boris B. And everything fits very nice. You can see there's tons of room. Uh, right here, dangling down, see if I can get in there, is my uh, video transmitter. It's just Velcroed to the bottom. Uh, that's where I found that I wanted to put it. A lot of space in there. Holy cow, a lot of space in there. And then I have my standard uh, receiver here. Nothing too fancy. Again, one thing I really like if I can kind of come in here, is I've got power, signal, and ground right here. This is for my video transmitter. And that signal port actually corresponds to the signal port in the front. So no wire running halfway across the entire, uh, the entire length of the quad here. It's actually part of the PDB. So there we go. Let's see how it flies.